the hundred thousand songs of milarepa volume 4 is being continued and the story is the holy gambopa milarepa's foremost disciple is being continued one day gambopa went out for a walk of a circumambulation at the gate of the monastery he overheard three paupers talking about their urgent need as a great famine had broken out that year one of them remarked at a time like this one kind monk our kind of monks of jajogri give timely preachings to all buddhists they also invite everyone without discrimination to share their food after we have eaten there we can also beg a measure of the porridge left over and go to some pleasant place nearby to eat it together another suggest i have a better idea let us gather one full measure of half ripe grains grain make dough and season it with pepper then we can enjoy it together quietly in some abandoned house the eldest said a cunning man always laughs and smiles even if he is desperately hungry while a good bird always flies like a vulture even if it is starving let us therefore not say anything that might betray our earning for food look a lama is coming this way we had better not let him hear our conversation it would shame us to be overheard besides if you want to make a vow you have better make a big one you had better make a big one wow therefore to become the immaculate son of heaven the great emperor protecting and spreading the holy dharma and governing all tibet here and now or vow to become a yogi like milarepa the king of all yogis who lives an ascetic life in the snow mountains in the west sustained mainly by the food of samadhi dressed only in a thin cotton garment and keeping this body warm by means of the blissful dumo he is a yogi who practices the illuminating mahamudra day and night when he goes from one place to another he flies if you can renounce the world and practice the dharma as he does that would be the best of all but if you cannot do this you should vow to see his face at least once in this life saying this the old man shed many tears when the jetson gambopa heard the name of milarepa he could not stop the spontaneous arising of great faith towards him the emotion that struck him was so great that he fell into a faint for half a day when he came to he shed many tears and made many prostrations in the direction of milarepa's abode then he prayed with great sincerity calling repeatedly o jetson o jetson please have pity on me please take care of me he then performed the rituals of the seven main oblations as an offering to milarepa in a great and incessant inspiration gambopa gained ex extraordinary hitherto attained experiences in his samadhi engrossed as he was with the with the thought of visiting milarepa the night rapidly passed the next morning gambopa called the three paupers in and served them with meat and food far proceeding far exceeding their expectations making them completely satisfied and happy he then said i wish to visit the lama whom you mentioned yesterday it seems that you know a great deal about him i shall appreciate it very much if you will guide me to that place i have 16 ounces of gold and will give you half for studying the dharma the two younger men replied we know very little about this lama but the older one said all right i will guide you to him that evening gambopa made offerings and said prayers to the three precious ones that night he blew a long huge brass trumpet the mighty voice of which reached to every corner of the earth even today there is no trumpet anywhere in all tibet in view and sang with a greater or more fascinated far-reaching sound gambopa then hung a drum in the air and beat a rhythm upon it producing a solemn solemn present and overwhelming boom heard by numerous men and animals on the same night he had a vision a girl looking like a native of man came to him and said you beat a drum for human beings but many animals have also been blessed by the sound she then handed him a skull cup full of milk saying having blessed even the animals to such an extent please drink this cup of milk before long not only all the animals here but all living beings in the six lokas will come to you 
I am now going to the west. She then disappeared. Afterwards, Gambopa made this comment. The human being who heard the sound of my drum that night are those men of lesser capacity who must go through the successive stages of the path in a gradual manner. Great indeed are the bounties given to us by the Gambopa Lamas. The animals who heard my drum are my great yogi disciples who practice meditation in caves. This vision also indicated that I shall go to my Guru Milarepa and rely solely on his instructions in the skillful path in Mahamudra. Gambopa and the other man or and the old man then set out to find Milarepa. In the course of the journey, Gambopa now murmured, now spoke and now cried aloud, Oh, when can I see my Guru? His earning to see the Chetsang was so great that tears never left his eyes and the thought of obtaining rest and comfort never entered his mind. When they arrived at new place in Upper Nyan, the old man fell sick. He said to Gambopa, I do not know much about the way from here on. There is, however, a monastery called Sajya nearby. You can inquire there. He then left Gambopa to go on alone. Gambopa walked on like a blind beggar wandering in no man's land. When night fell, he covered his face with his hands, bent down to the ground and wept bitterly. Suddenly, the old man appeared again and said, Do not weep so bitterly. I will show you the way. Later, Gambopa replied that all three paupers were Milarepa's transformations. Gambopa continued his journey, asking for directions along the way. When he reached Dronso Charva, he met a number of tradesmen from the highlands and asked them about Milarepa. A merchant from Nyanyon called Davajunspo said, The master of yoga, the great Milarepa, the accomplished guru, whose fame is known all over Tibet, is now residing at Chubar of Drin. Hearing this, Gambopa became so excited that he thought the merchant was Milarepa himself. In wild confusion, he hugged the man and burst into tears. With the newly acquired information, Gambopa now went towards Dinri. When he reached the center of a big plain, he became exhausted and sat down to rest on a rock. But due to extreme hunger and fatigue, his entire prana system had become so unbalanced and disordered that he fell from the rock and fainted, lying unconscious for half a day. When he came to, there was not even a single hair of his entire body from his head down to his feet, which he did not which did not feel painful. He was desperately thirsty, but there was no one to bring him water. He remained there without food and water for two days and nights. Then he made his vow, If I cannot see the Jetson in this life, I swear that in the next life I will be born near him and that my mind will be united and become one with him, with his. In the three bardos, after my death, I will look only to him as my soul refuge. With the greatest sincerity and in tears, he made this vow. Before long, a Ghadamba monk from Shayul came by and ordered Ga and asked Gambopa, Where are you going? I am going to Drin to visit Jatsang Milarepa. I too am going in that direction, but aren't you very sick? Yes, indeed, and I am also very thirsty. Could you give me a drink of water? The monk gave him a bowl of water, and after drinking it, Gambopa was completely refreshed. Then, accompanied by the monk, he resumed his journey. Meanwhile, the Jatsang is a very happy, in a very happy mood, was preaching the Dharma at Fortune Hill. During the discourse, he would sometimes remain silent for a time and then laugh heartily. A very well-gifted lady patron from Drin called Sese asked him, Why, dear Judson, do you now laugh heartily and now remain silent? Do you laugh because you see the progress made by some well-gifted disciple and sit in silence when you see the wrong thoughts of an incapable one? I am thinking of neither the demerits of the bad students nor of the merits of the good ones, replied Milrepa. Why then did you smile and laugh today? This is because my son, the monk from Vio, has now arrived at Drin Dinri. He fell fainting and in pain became a rock. With tears pouring down his face, 
and in great faith and earnestness he called to me for help feeling pity for him i blessed him in samadhi then i became very joyful and burst into laughter as he said this his eyes filled with tears say say asked again when will he arrive he will get here sometime between tomorrow and the day after do we have the karma of seeing the man yes whoever has the opportunity of preparing his seat upon his arrival will be sustained by the nourishment of samadhi whoever has the opportunity of first seeing him will be guided to the happy pure land of liberation when gambopa and the ghadamba lama arrived at the center of the market place they saw a woman weaving do you know where the great yogi milrepa lives asked gambopa where do you come from she asked from the great sun like province of viu to visit the jatsang milrepa in that case please come to my house i would like to offer you some food tea cakes and other refreshments were served then then the lady patreon said the jatsang knew yesterday morning that you were coming he made he also made a prophecy about your future knowing that you were tired and sick in dindri he blessed you in samadhi i obtained permission from him to welcome you first gambopa thought it was the grace of the jatsang that saved my life judging from his predictions about me i must be a well gifted person thinking this gambopa became a little proud of himself knowing of this self conceit milrepa refused to see him for to see him for a fortnight in order to subdue his pride during this time gambopa was told to live alone in a rocky cave and sivan dunba provided him with fuel and utensils for cooking a fortnight ha- having passed the lady patri- patreon brought gambopa to see the jatsang with his power of working miracles milrepa transformed both rechungpa and shiva out into the appearance of his own form as a result gambopa was unable to identify the real jatsan then rechungpa pointed to the central figure and said this is the real jatsang whereupon gambopa the precious one offered milrepa 16 ounces of gold as a mandala together with a brick of tea introduced himself and related the story of his journey from viu then he earnestly besought the jatsang to recount his life story milrepa looked straight ahead for a while solemnly solemnly and with his eyes fixed picked up a piece of gold from the mandala tossed it into the sky and said i offer this to marpa lo dragwa as he said this heavenly music and light appeared all around them in the magnificence beyond description milrepa took a full skull cup of wine and drank half of it then he added the remainder then he handed the remainder to gambopa and said drink it up gambopa hesitated thinking this is against the priestly rule particularly in front of so many people do not think so much drink it said milrepa being afraid of spoiling the good omen gambopa at once drained the skull cup proving by this behavior that he was a good vessel capable of receiving the peeth instructions and would become the holder of the lineage what is your name asked milrepa my name is sadnam rinchin the precious meritorious one the jatsang then repeated thrice his merits were gained by accumulating a store of virtues he is truly precious to all sentient beings milrepa thought to himself whoever hears the name of this son of mine will be liberated from samsara but i had better not speak of it now after a while he said to gambopa it is very wonderful that you have faith in me and come here to see me i do not uh, in i do not need your gold or tea as to my life story i shall sing you a song then accompanied by rechungpa and shiva i milrepa sang in the sky of dharmakaya beyond play woods gathering the clouds of ever flowing compassion i bowed down at the feet of marpa i bowed down at the feet of gracious marpa the shelter and refuge of all beings on my right sits my son on my right sits my son rechungpa on my left sits shiva au both join me in chorus singing a song for you dear physician in the holy land of india do many teachers boasted much the two most famous gurus were the great naropa 
ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಮೆಡ್ರೀಪ ಮೈತ್ರೇಯ ಮೈ ಮೈತ್ರೇಪ ಹೂ ಲೈಕ್ ಸನ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಮೌನ್ ಲಿಟ್ ಅಪ್ ದಿ ವರ್ಲ್ಡ್ ದೇರ್ ಹಾರ್ಟ್ ಸನ್ ವಾಸ್ ಮಾರ್ಪ ದಿ ಟ್ರಾನ್ಸ್ಲೇಟರ್ ಹೂ ಮಾಸ್ಟರ್ಡ್ ಬುದ್ಧಾಸ್ ಟೀಚಿಂಗ್ಸ್ ವಾಸ್ ದ ಹೋಸ್ಟ್ ಟು ಆಲ್ ಮಂಡಲಾಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಅಟ್ರಾಕ್ಟೆಡ್ ವೆಲ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಔಟ್ ಡಿಸೈಪಲ್ಸ್ ಹಿಯರಿಂಗ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಗ್ರೇಟ್ ಮಾಸ್ಟರ್ ಪ್ರೈಸ್ಡ್ ಬೈ ಆಲ್ ಡಾಕಿನೀಸ್ ಐ ಅರ್ನ್ಡ್ ಟು ಸೀ ಹಿಮ್ ಐ ಸಾಟ್ ಹಿಮ್ ವಿತ್ ಆಲ್ ಮೈ ಸ್ಟ್ರೆಂಗ್ತ್ ಆನ್ ಸೀಯಿಂಗ್ ಹಿಮ್ ಐ ಸ್ವೋಂಡ್ ಇನ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಟಸಿ ಬೌಡ್ ಎಟ್ ಹಿಸ್ ಫೀಟ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಸಾಟ್ ಪ್ರಫೌಂಡ್ ಇನ್ಸ್ಟ್ರಕ್ಷನ್ ದಟ್ ಇನ್ ದಿಸ್ ಲೈಫ್ ವುಡ್ ಲೀಡ್ ಟು ಬುದ್ಧಾಹುಡ್ ಮೈ ಫಾದರ್ ಬುದ್ಧ ಸೆಡ್ ಬೈ ದ ಮರ್ಸಿ ಆಫ್ ನರೋಪ ಐ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ದಿಸ್ ನೈಫ್ ಲೈಕ್ ಟೀಚಿಂಗ್ ಶಾರ್ಪ್ ಇನಫ್ ಟು ಕಟ್ ಸಂಸಾರಾಸ್ ಚೈನ್ ಎಕ್ಸರ್ಟಿಂಗ್ ಮೈ ಬಾಡಿ ಮೌತ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಮೈಂಡ್ ಎ ಪಾಪರ್ ಐ ವರ್ಕ್ಡ್ ಹಾರ್ಟ್ ಟು ಪ್ಲೀಸ್ ಹಿಮ್ ಲುಕಿಂಗ್ ಎಟ್ ಮೈ ಫರ್ವರ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಡಿವೋಷನ್ ವಿತ್ ಆಮ್ನೇಷಿಯಂಟ್ ಐಸ್ ಹಿ ಸೆಡ್ ಕೈಂಡ್ಲಿ ದ ಇನ್ಸ್ಟ್ರಕ್ಷನ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ದಿ ಫೋರ್ ಸೀರೀಸ್ ಆರ್ ನಾಟ್ ಪರ್ಫೆಕ್ಟ್ ಟುಡೇ ಸಮ್ ಆರ್ ಡೆಫಿಷಿಯಂಟ್ ಸಮ್ ಆರ್ ಓವರ್ ಡ್ಯೂಡ್ ದೋ ಒನ್ ಮೇ ರಿಸ್ಕ್ ಎಟ್ ಹೆಡೇಕ್ ಇಂಪಾರ್ಟಿಂಗ್ ದೆಮ್ ಟು ಒನ್ಸ್ ಡಿಸೈಪಲ್ಸ್ ಲಿಟಲ್ ಪ್ರಾಫಿಟ್ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ದೇ ಬ್ರಿಂಗ್ ಇನ್ ಡೇಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಡಿಫೈಲ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಸಚ್ ಆಸ್ ದೀಸ್ ಪೀಪಲ್ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಲಿಟಲ್ ಟೈಮ್ ಫಾರ್ ಲೀಜರ್ ವೈಲ್ ದೇರ್ ಆಕ್ಟಿವಿಟೀಸ್ ಆರ್ ಗ್ರೇಟ್ ವೇಸ್ಟ್ ನಾಟ್ ಯುವರ್ ಟೈಮ್ ಇನ್ ಸ್ಟಡೀಸ್ ಬಟ್ ಪ್ರಾಕ್ಟೀಸ್ ದಿ ಎಸೆನ್ಷಿಯಲ್ ಟೀಚಿಂಗ್ಸ್ ಟು ರಿಪೇ ದ ಬೌಂಟಿ ಆಫ್ ಮೈ ಗುರು ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಕಾಂಕರ್ ದ ಫಿಯರ್ ಆಫ್ ಡೆತ್ ಐ ಮೆಡಿಟೇಟೆಡ್ ಹಾರ್ಡ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ರಿಸೊಲ್ಯೂಟ್ಲಿ ಕನ್ವರ್ಟಿಂಗ್ ಇನ್ ಟು ಬ್ಲೆಸ್ಸಿಂಗ್ಸ್ ಮೈ ರಾಂಗ್ ಥಾಟ್ಸ್ ರಿಯಲೈಸಿಂಗ್ ವಾಟ್ ದ ತ್ರೀ ಕ್ಲೇಷಾಸ್ ಆರ್ ಐ ಸಾ ದಿ ತ್ರಿಕಾಯ ಆಮ್ನಿ ಪ್ರೆಸೆಂಟ್ ಟು ಮೈ ಕೇಪಬಲ್ ಡಿಸೈಪಲ್ಸ್ ವಿಲ್ ಐ ಟ್ರಾನ್ಸ್ಮಿಟ್ ದ ಇನ್ನರ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಪೀರಿಯನ್ಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಬ್ಲೆಸ್ಸಿಂಗ್ಸ್ ಟು ಯು ವಿಲ್ ಐ ಇಂಪಾರ್ಟ್ ದಿ ಪ್ರಫೌಂಡೆಸ್ಟ್ ಪೀತ್ ಇನ್ಸ್ಟ್ರಕ್ಷನ್ಸ್ ವಿತ್ ದೇರ್ ಪ್ರಾಕ್ಟೀಸ್ ಯು ವಿಲ್ ಸ್ಪ್ರೆಡ್ ದ ಬುದ್ಧಿಸ್ಟ್ ಫೇತ್ ಬೇರ್ ದಿಸ್ ಇನ್ ಮೈಂಡ್ ಮೈ ಗ್ರೇಟ್ ಫಿಸಿಷಿಯನ್ ಯು ಸೂನ್ ವಿಲ್ ರೀಚ್ ದ ಸ್ಟೇಟ್ ಆಫ್ ರಿಲ್ಯಾಕ್ಸೇಷನ್ ದಿಸ್ ಈಸ್ ಬ್ರೀಫ್ ದಿಸ್ ಇನ್ ಬ್ರೀಫ್ ಈಸ್ ಮೈ ಸ್ಟೋರಿ ದ ಡಿಟೇಲ್ಸ್ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ವೆಯ್ಟ್ ಅಂಟಿಲ್ ಸಮ್ ಅದರ್ ಟೈಮ್ ಐ ದಿ ಓಲ್ಡ್ ಮ್ಯಾನ್ ಡೂ ನಾಟ್ ವಾಂಟ್ ಯುವರ್ ಗೋಲ್ಡ್ ಐ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ನೋ ಸ್ಟವ್ ಆನ್ ವಿಚ್ ಟು ಬ್ರೂ ಯುವರ್ ಟೀ ಇಫ್ ಯು ವಾಂಟ್ ದಿ ಡಾಕ್ಟ್ರೈನ್ ಆಫ್ ದಿ ವಿಸ್ಪರ್ಡ್ ಲೀನಿಯೇಜ್ ಫಾಲೋ ಮೈ ವೇ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಪ್ರಾಕ್ಟೀಸ್ ಆ್ಯಸ್ ಐ ಡೂ ವೆನರೆಬಲ್ ಸರ್ ಇನ್ ಆನ್ಸರ್ ಐ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಸಂಗ್ ದಿಸ್ ಸಾಂಗ್ ಮಿಲ್ರೇಪ ದೆನ್ ಕಮೆಂಟೆಡ್ ದಿಸ್ ಈಸ್ ಮೈ ರಿಸೆಪ್ಷನ್ ಆಫ್ ಅವರ್ ರಿವಿಯರ್ಡ್ ಫಿಸಿಷಿಯನ್ ಪ್ರೀಸ್ಟ್ ದೆನ್ ಗಂಬೋಪ ಬ್ರೂಡ್ ದ ಟೀ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಬ್ರಾಟ್ ಇಟ್ ಟು ದಿ ಜಟ್ ಸಿಂಗ್ ಸೇಯಿಂಗ್ ಪ್ಲೀಸ್ ಆಕ್ಸೆಪ್ಟ್ ದಿಸ್ ಆಫರಿಂಗ್ ದಿಸ್ ಸಿಂಬಲ್ ಆಫ್ ಮೈ ವೆನರೇಷನ್ ಫಾರ್ ಯು ಮಿಲ್ರೇಪ ಆಕ್ಸೆಪ್ಟೆಡ್ ಇತ್ ವಿತ್ ಡಿಲೈಟ್ ಹಿ ಸೆಟ್ ಟು ರೇಚುಂಗ್ ಪ ವಿ ಶುಡ್ ಆಫರ್ ದಿಸ್ ಮ್ಯಾಂಕ್ ಸಮ್ ಟೀ ಇನ್ ರಿಟರ್ನ್ ನಾವು ಗೋ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಕಲೆಕ್ಟ್ ಎ ಲಿಟಿಲ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ಎವ್ರಿ ರೇಪ ಹಿಯರ್ ಎಕಾರ್ಡಿಂಗ್ಲಿ ರೇಚುಂಗ್ ಪ ಡಿಡ್ ಸೋ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಪ್ರಿಪೇರ್ಡ್ ದ ಟೀ ಮಿಲ್ರೇಪ ಕಂಟಿನ್ಯೂಡ್ ನಾವು ವಿ ನೀಡ್ ಸಮ್ ಸೀಸನಿಂಗ್ ಸೇಯಿಂಗ್ ದಿಸ್ ಹಿ ಮೇಡ್ ವಾಟರ್ ಇನ್ ಟು ದ ಪಾಟ್ ಮೇಕಿಂಗ್ ದ ಟೀ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ರಾರ್ಡನರಿಲಿ ಡೆಲಿಷಿಯಸ್ ದಿ ಗಾಂಬೋಪ ಲಾಮಾ ದೆನ್ ಆಸ್ಕಡ್ ದಿ ಜಟ್ ಸಂಗ್ ಟು ಬ್ಲೆಸ್ ಹಿಮ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ದಿ ಗಡಂಬ ಲಾಮಾ ದೆನ್ ಆಸ್ಕಡ್ ದಿ ಜಟ್ ಸಂಗ್ ಟು ಬ್ಲೆಸ್ ಹಿಮ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಫಾರ್ ದ ಸೇಕ್ ಆಫ್ ಎಸ್ಟಾಬ್ಲಿಷಿಂಗ್ ಎ ಧಾರ್ಮಿಕ್ ರಿಲೇಷನ್ಶಿಪ್ ಟು ಗಿವ್ ಹಿಮ್ ಸಮ್ ಇನ್ಸ್ಟ್ರಕ್ಷನ್ ದ ಜಟ್ ಸಂಗ್ ಆಸ್ಕಡ್ ವಾಟ್ ಡು ಯು
he compared milarepa's teachings with those he had received before from other gurus and as a result many doubts arose in his mind in order to uproot them gambopa went to milarepa for the essentials of the view practice and action then having cleared up all gambopa's doubts milarepa sang a song relating the teaching of tantra in accordance with the ghangyuba tradition my dear physician priest the ultimate view is to observe one's mind steadfastly and with determination if one searches for the view without one's mind it's like a blind monster seeking in vain for gold my dear physician priest the ultimate practice is not to consider distractions and drowsiness as faults doing so to starve them off is like kindling a lamp in direct daylight my dear physician priest the the ultimate action is to cease taking and abandoning to take and to abandon is to is to be like a bee trapped in a net my dear physician priest the ultimate discipline is to rest at ease in the view if one seeks the discipline without rules outside of one's own mind it is like lifting the floor gates of a dam my dear physician priest the ultimate accomplishment is the full conviction of one's mind if one seeks elsewhere the accomplishment of non being it is like a turtle trying to leap into the sky my dear physician priest the ultimate guru is one's mind if one seeks elsewhere a guru it is like trying in vain to get rid of one's own mind in short my good physician priest you should know that all forms are nothing but the mind gambopa thought what the jatsang has just said is very true so with great diligence he persisted in his meditation the first night he practiced naked in a cave but warmness and ecstasy arose within him spontaneously before dawn he fell asleep but his body still remained upright as firmly as a rock he continued to meditate thus for seven successive days days the heat and blissfulness arising effortlessly then he saw the five buddhas in the five directions in commenting on this milarepa said this experience is like a man pressing his eyes and seeing two moons in front of him when you have experienced what you have experienced is only due to you having controlled the five pranas it is neither good nor bad although jajatsang had told him that his experience was of no significance or merit gambopa was full of enthusiasm and in a delightful mood continued the meditation for another 3 months then one morning at daybreak he was suddenly overcome by a feeling that all the vast 3000 great millinery worlds in the universe were spinning round like a turning wheel he vomited many times and fell to the ground in a faint which lasted for a long time he reported this to the jatsang who commented this was because the tigle bindu in the great bliss chakra of your head center is increasing it is neither good nor bad just continue with your meditation again with one evening gambopa saw the black spot hell because of this vision his upper chest became congested and a strong current of heart prana arose and stirred his entire body he reported this to the jatsang who said this was because your meditation belt is too short and binds binds the nadis too tightly so loosen it this experience was caused by a constriction of the upgoing pranas it is neither good nor bad keep on with your meditation one day gambopa saw clearly the deva of desire and all the other devas of the six lokas he saw that those in the higher realms rained down nectar to feed those in the lower realms satisfying them all but gambopa himself was unable to drink the nectar rain and died under the blade of a knife asking milarepa about this vision he was told the raining down of the nectar was due to the tigle bindu increasing in the right and left channels roma and jumma at the throat center your inability to drink the nectar 
was because your central channel has not yet opened you should practice certain vigorous bodily exercises saying which the jatsang taught gambopa a few forceful exercises including those of leaping and tumbling gambopa practiced for another month then one day his body began shivering trembling and shaking incessantly he thought what has happened am i possessed by demons he informed the jatsang who said this was due to the tigle increasing in the dharma chakra at the heart center it is neither good nor bad you should now concentrate on your exercises and do not stop them to be continued